Hi, this is Dr. Kazumi. In this short video, I'd like to show you how to fabricate imaging guides when planning for dental implants for your patients. Say you have a patient with some missing teeth and bone loss, and you recommend the patient to see your surgeon for evaluation and a CT scan to determine what treatments might be required. What you can do to really help your surgeon with diagnostics and make the CBCT more meaningful is to make an imaging guide and give it to your patient to take with them to their consultation appointment with the surgeon. An imaging guide is nothing more than a regular surgical guide that has barium sulfate added to the sites with missing teeth. The barium sulfate will make the teeth radio opaque on the CT scan, hence helping the surgeon correlate with available bone uh, for implant placement and also determine if uh, bone grafting is needed or not. It will also help the surgeon with three-dimensional planning and fabrication of a surgery guide for precision implant placement. So here is how you can fabricate imaging guides. First, take impressions for study models. If you have a relatively simple occlusion with several missing teeth, you'll be able to make the imaging guides yourself. With more complex occlusions, multiple adjacent missing teeth, or highly aesthetic cases, it might be better to send your models to a laboratory for a complete wax up and instruct them to fabricate an imaging guide. Next, you can place a denture tooth that fits the size uh, of the uh, missing tooth and hold it with some sticky wax. Next, you can do a suck down with Essex material. Uh, the 0.04 uh, Essex works best for this purpose as it is uh, rigid enough to um, hold the material and uh, sit uh, with stability on the teeth. The Essex is cut out and then finished to the gingival margins. Next, you can roughen the inside of the Essex where the missing teeth are with a fissure burr. Barium sulfate comes in various granular sizes, so it's best to break it up and make it as fine as possible. Then, mix the barium sulfate with clear orthodontic acrylic, ideally to a 30-70% ratio, and uh, mix with liquid until it reaches a flowable state. You can then use a syringe to flow it in the edentulous site. Then immediately put the tray back on the model and let it set for about two hours. Finally, you can take out the, um, the guide and trim and polish it as necessary. Patient can take this guide to the appointment with the surgeon who will then insert it and take the image. 